Good morning guys. So I'm actually filming this intro clip on my phone because my vlog camera is in the bedroom where Zach is sleeping and he has a big day ahead of him because we are going to be doing a fiance takeover, a Zach takeover where he pretty much just vlogs his life from his perspective because obviously normally it's just through my perspective. So how we're gonna do this video is I'm gonna edit everything, I'll put it all together, but I'm not really gonna do anything like fancy probably with montages, I don't think like, I don't even know if Zach plans on, like, doing montages. I don't know. We haven't really discussed it. I'll probably start him off by vlogging him, but then he will transition to holding the vlog camera, doing the whole thing, and we shall see what he gets up to today. Good morning, Zach. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Zach is going to have the honor of opening the advent calendar coffee today. But first, Zach, put that down for a second. This is a vlog. You gotta say hey, what's up to everyone. Uh, hey, what's up to everyone? It's Saturday, December 17th. What time did you wake up? What time did you almost <laughs> wake up? Well, Clancy got up nice and early. What time? Like seven? Yeah, seven-ish. And then, so then I came back in the room to get something and I noticed Zach's eyes were open. And I guess you thought it was later. So like, we kind of like did like our little cuddling thing. And you're like, what time is it? And when I said the time, you're like, oh, get out of here. <laughs> and you went back to bed. <laughs> Yeah, I had no interest in getting up at 7.30 today. <laughs> I was like tired last night, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sleep in as much as I can. We shooed the cat out of the room and went back to bed. So now what time is it? It's like almost 10. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's still almost got up, 10. Still got up in the nines, which is good. All right, we're on Vlogmas. So Clancy's been going to town. <laughs> going to town. Look at all this. I don't even get to enjoy any of them. Well, today you do, Zach. Well, it better be a good one. I know. I'm scared. I don't want it to be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly. Yeah, it's <laughs> selfishness. Oh, oh, that looks really good. Okay. Cinnamon sugar cookie. I trust you'll let me have a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Not after that. You don't let me have sips very often. All right. Uh, this is where the rubber meets the road, Zach. You're taking it from here. Zach wants me to be his personal videographer because he <laughs> says he says he doesn't do the behind the scenes work. He's the no, on camera you, talent. You can hold the camera while I like eat my yogurt and stuff. No, Zach. <laughs> if you're a vlogger, I don't get people just holding the camera for me. This is a day in your life. Saturday. Whatever day it is, it has to be authentic. So... This is authentic. This is what we're doing. It's authentic, but you need to hold the camera. <laughs> All right. So it's Saturday morning. Clancy's on the couch, probably just watching Editing. TV and picking her nose and doing what she does best. I wanted to jump on to just to see. It. I had some things lingering yesterday for work to see if any offers get accepted and things like that. This is obviously LinkedIn. I can't show you my work uh actual the names and the people that i'm working with but and as you look over here we have two different parking tickets so that's cool i've got two different <laughs> pairs of airpods the fun fact these are my old airpods the originals that i liked but i wanted to see what these noise canceling airpods were all about and i hate these they hardly stay in my ears it was a disappointment you can see some sunglasses here if you remember the oakley scandal uh, with Clancy getting me a custom pair of Oakleys in what she just bought an all black pair of Oakleys. They weren't custom, but Oakley, you were awesome. And you sent us a gift card and we could actually get a custom pair of Oakleys. But yeah, here's, I haven't had a sip of this coffee yet. So uh, let's see what this tastes like. Cinnamon sugar cookie, if I'm remembering. I can't remember the actual brand. Sorry, brand. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's like a... Uh, Seven out of 10. So yeah, so I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. You know, I may uh, look around on the real estate websites like Zillow. Uh, sometimes I look for places we could buy and then sometimes I look for rent because we are up in the air on what we would do for our move down here, hopefully in a few months. Most likely, I'll show you probably just getting stretched out for the gym and going to the gym uh, if I am feeling uh, good enough. And I guess I can try to explain why I may or may not go to the gym. I think if you've been following, you know, I've been having some different health problems um, and uh, yeah, those are still lingering. So we will uh, jump to that in a second. So a fun development this morning, I guess, uh, 
Clancy has decided to ship some packages to our old address. Lucky for her, she just did our last Florida place, which is 0.7 miles away. I shipped some goods to Charlotte, which um, clearly is not ideal. So if you really wanna know what my weekends typically look like as well, on my second cup of coffee, drinking some water, and I'm in some group texts. Talking about fantasy football, sports, everything you can imagine. Somebody's talking about football cards, vintage t-shirts, all that good stuff. So the weekends definitely consist of uh, chatting with the old friend group on, on different stuff and relaxing in the mornings. And then uh, it's later in the year, so not as many college football games on. I actually think UC is starting right now at 11. They're in a bowl game, so might flip that on while I start stretching it out. And then uh, we've got NFL starting at one. So gonna hopefully hit the gym here. See something like flying out there, it looks funky. We've got some uh, identify, unidentified flying objects here in St. Pete, so you never know. You never know what you're gonna get on the beach. So I wouldn't say being a graduate of the University of Cincinnati, am I the biggest diehard UC Bearcat fan? No, I'm not, but I certainly am still a fan and I, want, I follow them, I want them to do well. 100%. And I know this isn't the audience to complain about college football, but Luke Fickle, such a wimp, and he left. Guy couldn't win a couple games in the American Comp. I heard Zach fill you guys in on my little mistake. I am so stupid, so I'm just running to our old place. It's like a mile away. I'm so stupid. So this was the cute little like bar slash restaurant we used to go to all the time. This is it, is Little Soul. And then if I keep running, our apartments were all the way over there. And this is it. This is where we stayed for a month. It does not look too, what's the word, impressive from the outside, but the bay is all back there. So it's so cool if you have one of those back apartments. Oh my gosh, guys, the package was right there in like that Amazon picture they send you. Someone, some kind Samaritan brought it in. Like that's my package and I can't get in here because I don't have a key. So I'm about to just like, I guess wait out here. This is so sketchy. Darn it, I feel like no one's gonna come out. I have officially been standing here for an hour. Yes, an hour. No one has come in or out of this building. And it's this building specifically because there are like those buildings as well, but they have different keys. It's like a very old school system. And I, I seriously, like, I don't know how to like break in. I think maybe because it's the holidays, people are maybe not here or it's a little chilly out in Florida. Maybe they're just staying inside, but like, I'm considering just leaving. It's a $50 microphone. Do I eat the $50? And I think you all know what the answer is. Like, I can't, I, can't, I cannot. But I also can't stand here all freaking day. Victory is mine. All right, Zach requested his videographer film him when he's doing his stretches. Also, I know this isn't about me. I know it, but I have to give an update on the package situation. Literally. Clancy, no one wants to hear your updates today. Yeah, they do, Zach. Clancy, it's not about you today. I was waiting there for an hour. I was so annoyed right after I filmed that last clip. A woman who is a little older, mm -hmm came out from the elevator and she kind of like opened the door a little cause I look pretty sketchy. And she's like, yes. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad you like are here. I've been waiting here for so long. I have a package in here and I can't get in. And then she's like, oh, well, I'm really not supposed to let anyone in. And I'm like, she told me her name was Joan. I'm like, Joan, 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 no, this is not the time to play. I've been waiting forever. Like, just let me in. And she let me in and I got my package. Anyway, back to the stretches, Zach. Back to here. What do they say? Like regular programs? Your schedule. Regularly scheduled program. Programming. Yeah. I just do these little stretches before I go to the gym. Always. I'm too old. I go to the gym and I don't like stretch out. I'll just hurt myself even more than already injured. So yeah, Zach is like pretty religious about this. And are you going to get a couple clips in the gym, Zach? Yeah. I'll chat maybe in the parking lot and describe what I'm going to do and then maybe do some clips in the gym, but Nothing crazy. I don't need anybody thinking I'm a pedophile in the gym today. <laughs> I feel like it's two areas. It's women that would be like, well, you're a creep. And then like old people, I feel like you see videos of like old men getting mad when people record in the gym. They're like, oh, I want to be on camera. You got to be stealthy. I don't need any of those two demographics coming after me today. I finally made it to the gym. It's 12.56 and I was actually trying to time it up with the one o'clock NFL games, but I just found out the games are only on NFL Network, which is annoying, NFL. Don't know why you do that. 
So I'm not sure they're gonna have that at Crunch Fitness. We're about to find out. But no, since I've gotten to St. Pete, I was doing just workouts uh, at the apartment for a while. Clancy would post me kind of working out on our patio or out by the pool. But since uh, I joined Crunch, I used to go to Crunch some in Cincinnati and it does the job. So plenty of things you can do in there, weights, cardio, all that good stuff. Today, I will probably be doing a mix of cardio and weights. So I'll probably do the game plan is 20, 25 minutes on the bike, uh, do an upper body and ab workout, and then probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes on the stair stepper. My fitness kind of situation has been fluid while we've been uh, traveling. I've done a good job for the most part when I'm feeling uh, healthy without too much side pain and stomach pain. I think it's tough as you get older in general, working out, uh, your body hurts if you're an ex-athlete. You probably have bumps and bruises like I do, I think. I've got a bad left ankle, bad, two bad shoulders that I've blown out both. Knees hurt occasionally when you're running, X, Y, Z, bad back, all that good stuff. So you try to figure out how you can exercise and stay fit. Um, I, I was biking a lot. I haven't biked much since I've been here. Um, I really enjoyed that for cardio. Um, and obviously leg strength. Yeah, I mean, I think when you are an athlete and you get so used to it, you're always moving so you can, you're working out, you're, you can eat whatever you want when you're younger and all that good stuff. And then that changes, you get to college. I was in pretty good shape, I'd say my freshman and sophomore year, even though not eating the best, but you're walking, you're working out and everything. And then I probably gained, if I had to guess, 10 pounds, my junior year which wasn't bad weight but then at the end of my senior year I probably gained another 10 where I just wasn't doing much cardio I wasn't eating right and all that good stuff so right out of college I probably was in the worst shape of my life since like I was like I don't even know young and playing sports and then it was probably a couple years after that I've told the story before to like friends and I probably said it on here before I was working one of my first jobs out of school it was probably 2016, my company decided to pay for us to get headshots, so they brought somebody in. And first things first, this person uh, was one of the worst photographers. I can't even believe we found them. Nobody ended up using their headshot. I can't even believe we had to pay uh, for this person to come in. I won't say man or woman, because it doesn't matter. Um, but they, they were horrible. But outside of that, that was the photo that I had gotten sent to me where it was just the worst photo of my life. I mean, I don't think I'm extremely photogenic in general, uh, but this, I mean, I had, my face looked humongous. I was shaved so you could really see the chins. It was just, my teeth looked crooked. I don't even have crooked teeth, but my teeth looked crooked in the photo. I mean, it was like, she edited it almost on purpose to make me look even worse, but I was overweight. So I was probably at that point, it's not like it matters what I weighed, but I was probably up to like 230, which would have been the heaviest um, by a lot um, that I had ever weighed. Just not healthy, working a lot. So then after that photo was when I decided, okay, time to make a change. And at that point I was, I think, yeah, I think I was single at that point, recently single again. And then I was like, okay, well, time to be hitting the gym, run, this, that, and the other. So since then, at that point, I started steadily losing weight. I probably lost 20 pounds in a year, if I had to guess, just doing better habits, working out and different things. But um, doing more cardio was something that I started doing. You just don't need to lift heavy weights anymore. And really actually getting back into just training legs. They're not fun for me to train. I've never had strong legs. Um, I've always had a strong upper body. So I was that stereotypical 2000s lifter guy that would just go in and bench a bunch of weight. Love it and leave. Who cares about my, I don't, I don't need big quads. Uh, that was never something I was uh, going after. So I started getting back into shape, which was nice. I and mean, it was funny because I think Clancy tells the story that when my mom had reached out to her was like talking about like my weight and different things, which was like just such a weird thing that she would have done. Mom probably thought I was getting a little fat for a while. She didn't want to set Clancy up with, with, a, with a biggie. No, and then it would have been right about the time, probably would have been about six months before meeting Clancy. 
I had finally felt good again, just with my weight, my eating habits, my working out habits. And not to say anyone needs to be vain, right? And always say, oh, I look good or I look bad or whatever. I mean, you just feel better too. Like if you're doing healthy things and working out and eating right. So I felt was feeling better, looking better, all those things. So it was um, good then at that time in my fitness journey and health journey that I was feeling back to getting back into shape when we met. So I could try to give Clancy my best self when we met. And then I, I've been very consistent over, I mean, Clancy and I've been dating for four and a half, five years now. So since then, for sure, I, I've done the best I can. I mean, I've even gotten back down to like 192 pounds when I was biking a lot. But now I haven't been able to work out as much and as like hard, I guess, as, as I've wanted to just with not feeling healthy the past six months with whatever's going on. If you're a doctor out there and uh, you wanna try to diagnose me, uh, give me a call because uh, the doctors I've seen, for lack of a better term, have been clueless. Uh, it's making me lose faith in our healthcare system, but I will find the right doctor one day. So here we are, uh, I'm gonna go hit uh, the workout. I'll probably be in there for about an hour and 10, hour, 20 minutes, um, depending on how efficient I am. I'll shoot some clips on my phone of the gym in there. It's pretty nice. I think it's a newer crunch and then uh, hopefully go and get some lunch. All right. Post-workout, it was successful. I shot some clips there. Thought I was gonna be running to Chick-fil-A, but at the end of the day, Clancy got me hooked. I don't even know if you can see. I'm at Fresh Kitchen again, so I'm a sucker. I called her to see if she wanted anything. She already ate, uh, so I'm gonna go enjoy a healthy meal. But it was funny, I actually met a guy at the gym who I recognized from UC, uh, University of Cincinnati, that I played intramural sports against, flag, probably some basketball, different things. Really nice guy. Him and his girlfriend moved down here in, I believe he said March, and really like it. So I think he's from the Columbus area, works remote as well. So yeah, no, it was funny. I was texting Clancy when I was on the Stairmaster that she's, we've complained that we don't have friends down here. We have one couple that we know and we like a lot. You met Nikki and have seen Mike on the vlogs who are great. But as we leave Monday, I believe they leave Tuesday. So they will not be here when we uh, come back, which stinks. So yeah, no, I mean, I've been doing a lot of vlogging from uh, my seat in my car here, but if you wanted a day in the life, this is what I do. So I've got my bowl here, which is steak, barbecue chicken, sweet potato. I got a little water cup and I decided to try this lemon lime sparkling water. We've got this speaker up here jamming some uh, tunes. You guys have been getting a full dose of our uh, meals here, but uh, we love it. Let's go see what Clancy's up to. We haven't had much variety today other than me talking in the car, so I'm trying to uh, spice it up a little bit. My true colors are being revealed. This is how I am. Uh, yeah, when like... Clancy's <laughs> working hard. Here, you she's probably watching YouTube, sitting on the couch. No, I'm reading my book. That's what I'm saying, but your laptop is there. Oh, laptop. I was watching YouTube, that is correct. It's like my day off. How's your day been? It's been really lazy and really nice. Because look at the weather. It's like whenever the, I swear, the weather dictates. If it's sunny, I must go out and live life. If it's like this, nope, not happening. That's just not happening. It's just not happening today. I'm just like trying to embrace in New York, guys. This is literally all I'm going to be doing. Sitting on my butt reading. I have a fun update, by the way. Guess what, Zach? What plans? I think I'm going to hit 52 books this year. <laughs> book a week. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, right. You read one book. You read one book since I met you. And that was like the first book you read in your life. You just don't know how much I read. <laughs> he hates reading. But um, did you tell them that you saw a buddy at the gym? Yeah, I mean, he's not a buddy. It's an acquaintance, <laughs> but I told him how. I ran into somebody for him. Oh, categorizing his friendship. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're not. We did never even talk to each other. You've never talked to <clears> each other? <throat> oh, that's so I, cute. No, I just like said, hey, like, are you from UC? I did a very oh. unique thing that I don't typically do because... We're desperate. I just, I don't, yeah, I don't We're like, I don't make friends. new friends, but I was like, well, 
Time to shoot my shot on a friend. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's nice. Now I've really enjoyed, honestly, just like relaxing. Good. I will have to edit all this. Well, I'm glad you'll work a little bit today. <laughs> I've been grinding. Oh my god. I was grinding this morning getting my package. <laughs> Sitting outside an apartment building for an hour. This chick can't even send packages to the right place. It's embarrassing. <laughs> this chick, yeah, your fiance. <laughs> One thing I can't remember if we've talked about, but is the red tide. How do you zoom in? But you can see one, two, maybe out there three and four, just dead fish. Oops. So it's just weird because I think the red tide itself kind of smells and it's not ideal clearly but then I think we get the smell from uh, just dead animals. So it's uh, sad to see some of the animals going through it and struggling. Hello, I'm checking in here. Am I allowed to check in on today's video? I feel like I'm not, but I am bored and I need someone to talk to. Do you guys, I'm at, I'm at Chick-fil-A over here. I told Zach I'd pick him up dinner. I'm getting kava and this line. Oh my gosh, guys, like it wraps around the whole building. It's insane. I'm going to be here all night. I'm very sad. Oh, we're moving. We're moving up. I literally moved up an inch. This sucks. Oh, and I'm even say, I don't know if Zach has filled the vlog in. Probably not. We're going to have a chill evening. We're calling it a Christmas night, although we're not allowed to watch Christmas movies because the NFL is on, unfortunately. It's just going to be like a nice chill night because tomorrow we are either going to go to the Tampa Bay game because they're playing Cincinnati or we're just gonna go to a bar and watch it. It all depends on prices, because prices right now are so freaking high. So we'll see. I would like to report that we are making progress. We are making progress. I said it in a vlog before. I just don't like Chick-fil-A. I feel weird to Can they hear me? Oh my gosh, Actually, let me pull up my window. I really don't want them to hear this. But so many of you guys were talking about how they use peanut oil for their food, and that might be why I don't like it, or like why it upsets my stomach, but I'm actually not allergic to peanuts. I'm only allergic to tree nuts, so. I just don't like it in general though. So I've been watching some football and I was looking up some Bengals and Buccaneers tickets. They're still pretty expensive, but Clancy and I may try to make that happen. We've got uh, the ambiance of a fireplace tree. <laughs> wow. Clancy goes one day not being the star of the show. Show them your order. So Clancy got Kava and she got me. Some Chick fil A. So I got a chicken sandwich, all the cart, and then. Zach loves this salad. It's like the Zach salad. I don't even remember what it's called. The market salad. Clancy, what did you get? The real star of the show, Kava. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It also should be noted that I waited so long in that drive through that they gave me a gift card. So just, just saying, I wasn't complaining for no reason. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Zach's in the bathroom. You wanna say bye, Zach? You're gonna end my vlog. <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. That's for AF. Okay. Well, I've been instructed that the vlog needs to end because Clancy needs to do her editing for the evening, so. Oh yeah, you're blaming me for ending all the fun. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, had, I had so much more planned tonight to record for us. I can't believe we're getting cut short. It's pretty sad. Old mom over there, she's like a mom staring at me like when you're like doing like a school project and you're just like, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know what happened in your household, but it really happened to me. You didn't get attention? Yeah, that's not a shock. <laughs> Hence why she's seeking it still. But I don't know if this was the most entertaining day of my life to record, but hopefully it wasn't too boring for uh, vlogmas and a little change of pace. But uh, it's good spending some time with you guys. Keep watching Clancy. Keep up thumbing the videos. And uh, we'll see you next time. Doesn't matter if the